When I was growing up, I read a lot of Choose Your Own Adventure books. Um, and I loved the, the idea of choice and stories. When I started playing games, uh, they were just interactive. I could decide the outcome of my character, decide the outcome of the story in real time. And that was something that was just so unique and different to me that I got drawn more and more into these worlds. And instead of reading books, I started playing games. And, and back then, games were filled with tons of text and stories and characters. So it really just became something that was my entertainment. I started playing games, and there was a lot of text on the screen. But over the years, there started to be what were called talky versions of games, which meant there were voiceovers instead of the text. Do you get to the Cloud District very often? And it brought the characters to life. I mean, it became more like an animated movie. So it was sort of originally like reading a novel, and then it became like a movie. So the, the world just got richer, and you felt more of the emotion of the characters. The first video game award show I worked on was in 1994. It was called Cybermania 94. I was a kid. It was hosted by Leslie Nielsen from The Naked Gun and Jonathan Taylor Thomas from Home Improvement. So I worked on that show for TBS. And then, yeah, I started working with Spike on their video game awards for about a decade. And then last year, I started my own awards called the Game Awards, which was uh, created by me. We did it in Las Vegas. And, I, you know, the reason I do that is because video games deserve to be celebrated. Those of us that play games know how much they mean to us. And we need a big night to just celebrate our love of games. And, you know, I was in a position to help make that happen. I wanted to keep that happening. So uh, we do the Game Awards every year now. The thing that's happened now is it's not just voiceover, it's really performance. Actors are doing full facial capture, body capture. So we're really thinking of it more as like a full-on performance. And yeah, we've sometimes had a male category, a female category. Uh, you know, last year we just had one voiceover category. It really depends on the performances. But uh, yeah, we like to celebrate all, all the artistic arts and the crafts. I mean, I'm partial to a lot of the, the comedy games over the years. So I love like, you know, Day of the Tentacle from Tim Schafer from LucasArts from many, many years ago. Just great voiceover cast. I love The Last of Us. Uh, I did a really cool thing with the cast of The Last of Us called One Night Only, where we took all the actors and they actually performed the scenes from the game as a live performance in Santa Monica. You can look it up on YouTube. But they actually did live th theater around the game, and it was incredible. And also, there are other games that are just seminal, like uh, Red Dead Redemption. Like, that was just such a great game. What Rockstar does with performance is second to none. I was a kid, I went to a company named 3D Realms, they are making a game called Rise of the Triad. They had me record like a few little taunts and things like that. I think it was something like, get that dog, get that dog, or something like that. Because there was a little dog that would run around in Rise of the Triad. I'm not a voiceover guy, um, you know, I appreciate great games, but I don't know if I'll ever play a role of a character. Although people have pitched me over the years of playing like a reporter in a video game, but it hasn't happened yet. Oh, I know tons of voice actors, uh, you know, Troy Baker's a friend of mine, Nolan North. Uh, yeah, I know all those guys well. I was just with Ashley Johnson last night, who's uh, Ellie in The Last of Us. So, yeah, I love the voice actors. Hey, I'm Jeff Keeley, producer of the Game Awards. And for all your voiceover news, make sure to check out Verite Entertainment.